G'day, welcome to The Geek Teacher. We're going to be looking at uh, building a simple fly swat type game in Visual Basic. We're going to do it in a few parts. Uh, today's session we're going to focus on putting an image control onto the form uh, using a picture box and looking at uh, upping and decreasing the score based on clicks. So hitting the picture will make the score go up by one, missing the picture will make the score go down by one. Um, uh, in the next session we'll then make it move to a random location when we click on it as well and then after that we're going to make it move in the third session we're going to make it move in its own timing fourth session we're going to add difficulties including points as well um, breaking it up into small parts so you can learn each section separately and easily so in this one what we're going to need is a blank form we're going to need a picture box as well uh, so grab one of those and stick it on uh, we're going to need an exit button so that's going to be a button. I'm going to stick this one on the top right this time uh, because it's a game and why not. Uh, we're also going to need a couple of labels. You can actually do this with one label but we're going to use two um, just to make life a little bit easier for ourselves. And who doesn't want to make life easier for themselves after all? You're also going to need a picture. Now I have one here of an iPad. I'm going to call mine iSquish. Um, you can call it Fly Squish, whatever you like. I'm going to use iPads because uh, I actually just, I have an iPad, but I prefer my Surface. Go figure. Um, okay, so there you go. So now that we've got all these controls on our form, we actually need to go through and name things. So how about we name our form, whatever we like. So I've called mine iSquish, and you can call it whatever. And we're going to call this form main because it's the main form. This label here, label one, we're actually not going to re bother renaming because all it's going to do is say score. That's literally all it's going to do. So we change the text property to score and there we go. Uh, label two, however, is going to hold our score. So I'm going to initiate it at zero. Um, so it's initial, initially going to be zero and we're going to call this LBL score. Uh, because it's a label and it's holding the score. So let's make our names actually make sense. Uh, this button over here we're going to call BTN Exit. So notice that the name is selected and then down here in the text we're going to type in Exit. Remembering that the ampersand before the X underlines the X and makes it a um, hotkey. This picture box we are going to make a few changes to it. This one's going to be called Pick Squish because when we click on it we're going to squish it and we also need to load the image in. Now to do that we go down here to the image location uh, down here to image sorry click on that wonderful ellipsis I'm going to make it a project resource file so that it goes with the project wherever we go then I navigate to find my picture there it is click on open press OK and there is my iPad notice it doesn't quite fit so I'm going to auto size that down here in size mode going to make it auto size so that now it fits and then I'm going to get rid of my auto size again and make it back to normal just I don't know why I just like doing that there you go so now our form is set up it doesn't actually do anything if I run that as it is um, do, 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 do. there we go if I run that nothing's happening because we haven't added any code but you can see how it works press exit exit doesn't work either um, so there's our iPad, there's our exit button, let's go and add some code. I double click on the exit button because we know what that's going to do. That's going to end the program. So there we go, and I can automatically type end in, which will end the program. Coming back to the form, you'll notice that the iPad is there. Um, the purpose of this program is when I click on the picture, means I hit it, uh, that score is going to go up by one. And when I miss it, oops, that means I hit the form, it's going to go down by one. So we're going to be using two click events, the picture click and the form click. Let's start with a picture and we're going to add our comment, add one to the score label. Brilliant. Coming back here, I'm going to add it to the form. Now notice I double clicked on the form and I got this, form main load. Always check this out very carefully because the default event for a form is load. But we don't want load, we want click. So we come up here to the top right into our event um, handler for form main and we scroll up until we get to click so then I can type in my comment here take one from the score label I'm also going to delete this because we don't need it anymore 
Excellent. Now, I can add my code in to pick squish. Now, pick squish, uh, the label is what's going to hold the score, and that's LBL score dot text. Remembering it's the text property that actually has it. Now, what I can actually do is type in LBL score dot text plus one. Um, and that will increase because it's actually already been initiated with an, a, uh, uh, a number. But just in case, what I can do is put a C int. Um, and if we have a look at what C int does, <laughs> my typing will get better at some point. Um, what it actually does is it uh, changes whatever's in there to an integer. So because that's a string, we're going to do that, and it makes it an integer. Now that just makes sure that it is actually going to be an integer we're working with. Down here, we're taking one from the score. So the same deal, LBL score dot text equals C int, because we're changing it. See this, converts an expression to the integer data type. Remembering we're using whole numbers, no decimals. So integer is what we want, LBL score dot text minus one. Now when we play that, it should actually work. Let's have a look. There we go, goes up by one, goes down by one. So it's not going down by one because I missed click and made cursor change. See, I didn't even look at it myself. How bad is that? There you go, there's click. So I'm just gonna move this directly in there. I'm gonna delete that, just neaten it up. There we go, so now it should work. Let's have a look. It's always good to test your program. Oops, I'm really bad, I'm going down into the negatives. There we go. So that's lesson one. Um, setting the basics for our iSquish. The score is going up by one and it's going down by one. We're working with the click event and our exit button. Hope you've enjoyed that. It's quick and easy. Join me for the next one, which should be up very soon, looking at uh, moving that to a random location. Stressless. Be ninja.